This is Jerry Show, and this is the VXR100. And before we jump in and look at the actual microphone itself, I want to do a sound test. Now, I did three different sound tests. The first one I did where JC was 18 feet away from the microphone. The second one, JC was only nine feet away from the microphone. And the third one, he was about four feet, maybe three feet to five feet. I was kind of moving just around them as I talked to them so you could get an idea of what that would sound like. So before we jump in and look at it, let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. How you doing ladies and gentlemen? We're here in St. Paul, Minnesota for the tennis convention. We're here today, as you can tell, behind me you can see four beautiful ladies in a beautiful day playing tennis. Um, hopefully there's a lot of people that show up and have fun today. How you doing today, ladies and gentlemen? We're sitting here at St. Paul, Minnesota Tennis Court. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's about 85 degrees out. Um, hopefully everybody that shows up has a beautiful day. Uh, there's four beautiful women that showed up so far on the tennis court. Um, hopefully there's a lot more people that shows up. Everything's free. Yeah, there's a couple of people out here. This is JC from WBA, Waller Boy Association. Um, there's a lot of people out here that's stealing my music, taking my music, stealing my brother's beats. Um, we just want you guys to know that you guys will never be able to stop us. Too good for that. I actually got a song that I'm trying to work on that I want it to be so original that I might pull up in a Buick uh, La Sabra or a Ford Taurus. Uh, no rims, no music. Whatever you can get from your neighbor, right? Whatever I can get from my neighbor. So, How come you don't got no chains? Uh, I prefer not to wear jewelry. It's just a, a sign of flashiness, a sign of royalty, a sign of richness. And uh, where I come from, we didn't have a lot of that. So I'm going to keep it all original. I don't need gold chains. I don't need $150,000 homes or nothing like that. I live in a $40,000 home, drive a $2,000 truck, and my music is going to be just as good. <laughs> All right, so now you've seen what the VXR100 sounds like. I'll go ahead and show you what comes in the box. We do have a couple different XLR cables here. We have one that's actually an adapter to a 3.5 millimeter, and then we have a short one. When I say short, it's probably about a foot, a little longer than a foot. And then we have one that's around probably 10 feet. It's a long extension one. If you want to boom the microphone, you could use this easily. And moving on, we do have this piece here. I'm sure people have seen this. Actually, let me just pull it out, show you how it works. Uh, that's the shock mount, by the way, but this just sets in here and you can adjust it up and down. And this sounds really good even up close. If you're only gonna be about a foot or two foot away from this or closer, this sounds excellent. It still sounds really, really good. So that piece does come with it. And then we have this handle here and it's like a little boom handle so this way if you're going to do this handheld you would slide it in there and then you could boom it whatever way you wanted to now this handle does come off it does have a quarter inch thread there at the bottom so you could attach it to a tripod or possibly mount something on the bottom of that but that's the handle that's included it's a nice it's got a nice feel to it nice weight pretty heavy so besides that we do have a pop filter this is the pop filter, just slides on to the front here, all the way down, and we'll stop at, you see around the on off switch and the low cut filter there on the microphone. We'll take a look at the microphone itself. It does run off a AA battery that is included. I'm actually on my second battery already, but this is AA battery. They do recommend removing it before or while you're storing it. So let's see, did I put it on here right? Yep, okay. And then on this side we have the XLR connection and yeah, that's that. So we also do have this wind guard and I was using the wind guard earlier because we had stronger winds, love mile per hour, lots of trees around. This did a really good job at blocking out that wind, especially uh, when you're getting closer to the microphone. So this is the shock mount. They do include extra bands for the shock mount, say that these bands were to break I don't think they would, but for whatever reason, they might, and they have extra ones. There's four right there. And then we have this hot shoe here, so we can connect that to the uh, the shock mount and mount that right on top of the camera. So overall, I definitely like the microphone. It sounds very good. 
and I would recommend it for six foot and less. So if it's, if you're six foot away from the microphone, it's gonna work very, very good. Even at those close ranges, uh, two foot, one foot, three foot, five foot, it sounds very good. Um, and yeah, that's that. It has a good, even close range. So I'll put a link in the description. That's the VXR100. Thanks for watching.